What's going on you guys? Coming at you with another video. Well, I tell you what, being retired has had me super busy and I know I promised you guys an update video on the Green Tree Python babies and it's just been really hectic uh, just doing all the animal stuff, doing the animal thing full time, shipping and everything else and you guys have been, uh, been great. Been going down my waiting list, people haven't been ghosting me, they're actually replying, replying quickly. So it's been working out quite well and even though I have more time to do that, um, you guys are keeping me busy, which I appreciate because I don't like sitting around and being idle. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the baby green tree pythons from our clutch. Uh, they're coming along. I uh, have over half of them are now starting to feed pretty decent. And there's a couple in there, a couple runners as we call it. Uh, you know, you offer food and they strike a few times and then they scoot. So it's kind of frustrating. But uh, I'm going to show you guys the babies anyway and then tell you a little bit of what our plans are for them. So these are the setups here. I'll do a lower one so you can see a little better. These are our setups. It's how we, how we did it. Um, just real basic with perches using the vision tubs and water bowl and some substrate. They're all really comfortable. Um, they move, they have back heat so they can move to the back of the tubs for a little bit of a warmer ambient temperature. Of course, they can come all the way to the front. These are very deep tubs come to the front for some cooler temps. And we've just been offering them uh, frozen thawed day old pinkies mostly that we warm up uh, really warm to try to get them, you know, real their sensory perception really activated. And uh, it's been working real well on most of them. It's kind of weird that most of the reds are really aggressive eaters and the, some of the yellows are kind of timid. So I don't know why that is. It's just maybe unique to this particular clutch. And yeah, so anyway, um, animals are like three and four meals in and they're looking good. Green tree pythons, when they come out of those eggs, they are super tiny. And I think most people don't even realize unless you've actually hatched them yourself. Green tree pythons are extremely small when they leave those eggs. So these guys are getting some growth on them now and they're looking quite good. I put all the red ones kind of went in numerical order. I have the feeding cards and doing all that kind of stuff with the details. So I, kind of, I started with the reds and then we, at some point it switches over to the yellows and uh, there's the last of the reds. So those are the yellow babies. So we're having some progress here. So it's good. I just wanted to give you guys an update, probably more so just so you could see how we're keeping them and it's working out quite well. Now, as far as our plans for these animals, because we feel like they're not going to be ready in time to be sold, we've kind of been forced to do um, a rethinking of our plan with these. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to send all of these babies off to a close friend of ours. He is going to raise them for a year to a year and a half and then we're going to see how they turn out, which is something that I really want to see. It's a very interesting pairing from what I'm hearing. That was the very first YGAO breeding uh, done so far to date that we're aware of. So um, I want to see what those babies end up looking like and um, through our partner, probably hold some back, breed some, line breed some, and see what happens. So that is about it. I'm going to take you guys outside. I'm going to show you some of the other green tree pythons that came from the farm. And then at the end of the video, we did a little photo shoot, Apple and I, as she wanted some pictures for Instagram and Facebook with my big, biggest Patias Carinata. So we actually videotaped our photo shoot and I'll show you the end product. If you have not seen those pictures on Instagram, um, I got a really nice photo of Apple, I think anyway, but the photo shoot itself is somewhat funny. You get to see us kind of interact and bicker a little bit, whatever. So anyway, let's go outside. Let's take a look at the farm bred Biox. So the Biox imports, we keep them basically in the same setup, more or less, just a little bit of a taller cage to allow for some perches. And they are perched up like such so this is how we keep them exactly the same way that you saw in the previous video when we actually put them away so they're doing really well they're feeding like clockwork there's no issues 
with getting any of these to feed and of course they're bigger animals so they're already a little bit further along in the process so we started contacting people on our waiting list so a bunch of these animals are already sold and they'll be shipping out next week we did feeds already um, multiple feeds already but we just fed on Friday so we can't ship right this week because animals need to clear food before we can ship so anyway they're doing awesome this one's in the shed but everybody's perched everyone is happy the ambient in this room is always warm so never have any issues with that but anyway that is the Beox and they're doing quite well just like that and do you guys want to see that photo shoot I think you do <laughs> it's kind of funny so anyway let's move on to the photo shoot and that is about it I just want to come at you with a quick video our next video I'm thinking is going to be next week we have some special animals coming from uh, UK and Russia some animals for a personal collection but I want to show them to you because some of them are quite unique and I think you'll enjoy it all right onward to the photo shoot Okay, take the camera and just hold it. Yes. Yeah, okay. Right? Like yeah. this. Try to always have a hand about right. Maybe two to three feet mm -hmm. from his head. Tip back. Yes. But like here is a good place. This is a good point of control about right here. Okay. okay. You have to keep moving your hand. Keep walking him, walking him, walking him. He's, you're way too far back. You gotta keep keep your hands about right in this area. Got it. But go slowly, slowly and gentle. Slow. No, 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 no. no. Slow. I'm trying. Watch. Okay. Watch. 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 I am smaller than yours. It doesn't matter. Just slowly, slowly, just always give him a spot, some support. Okay. I'll get you watching what I'm doing. Okay, I'm watching. Like the sweet spot is about right here on his neck. That's the, that's where he feels the most comfortable. So, but you got to keep putting a hand there, and you don't want to grip him. You just want to keep supporting him right there. And that seems to be the spot where he's the most comfortable. So I'll try it again. Try to put his body more around you like this, mm -hmm. but you got to keep walking him. And remember, you, you always want a hand about right here, about right there. But don't grip it. Just let him. Okay, you guys, and that is it for another quick video from DM Exotics. I'm going to close this one out with a couple Boyga Synodon. And if you like Synodon, you're not going to want to miss next week's video because we have some interesting Synodon coming as well. So that is about it. Thank you for watching. We appreciate all your support. And as always, we see you in the next video. Take care, you guys. Hey.